Hello and welcome back to Larfant Gaming Place Never Winter Nights 2. I'm your host Larfant and this Never Winter Nights 2 build video we're doing Dragon Song build. This is a Bard and Red Dragon Disciple build. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit notification bell so we update and much more. I'm gonna go ahead and give the out uh, the advantages and disadvantages. First of all, as a bard, more you level up in a bard, more powerful your songs get. So higher to perform. And when you have certain songs, like for example, a curse song or a song of Requiem, yeah, that perform will really kick in nicely. Bardic spells, that is really good to have. As for Red Dragon Disciple, you have some extra AC, some extra uh, ability points, and also blind fighting feet. Now, the uh, disadvantages are obvious. Number one, you're only going through eight levels of Red Dragon Disciple. Number two, you're not going to be a full bard. Number three, the Song of Requiem is your last feat. So I'm going to go ahead for the next part is get to the races. Now, normally I uh, do other races in this video. However, this build, you got to be a human. The extra feat and some extra skill points helps out big time. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to lose a feat. You might lose out on the Song of Requiem. So definitely go for a human or any races that gives you an extra feat or so. Let's go ahead and do the next part. We're only going to do two classes. The Bard, obviously, that's the main focus of this build video. And second is the Red Dragon Disciple. Now, Red Dragon Disciple, we're only doing about eight levels, and that's it. We're getting some feats, ability scores, and more. As for the Bard, well, we're going to get some nice songs, spells, and anything else from that class, too. As for alignment, you cannot be lawful. Now, good news is, you become the other alignments. My advice is, you don't want to get smite, pick neutral. So as for deity, this is optional, more like lore flavor. So if you're into uh, Dungeons and Dragons, pick any deity you want. And yeah, there is a few classes of prestige classes does count on deities. But for now, pick any. Now for ability scores, here's what's going to happen. We're going to do strength 14. We're going to have a little bit of oomph in our damage. Dexterity to 12 for reflex saves, constitution to 12 for fortitude saves, intelligence to 14 for those skill points, wisdom to 10, that's going to be our weak spot, charisma to 16. Now, this is very important, charisma we're going to be picking throughout this build. Yeah, you see bards, they count on charisma, so this way they get those extra spell slots. You can stop at the other ones, but nah, I'd rather get more charisma points anyways. Plus, charisma is uh, good for other factors too, so once I am done with that, we're going to go ahead and select the background. For a uh, background, uh, I would probably say is the uh, natural leader. Any one of them that does not have negative points in perform. Me, I just think I think I did the uh, performer one. That gives you one point perform. However, you get docked a will save point. Yeah, that is uh, a bit dangerous on that end. Already our will saves are in the uh, you know dumps, but still. That perform one point starting out is great. It'll help me in the future as I level up the bard. So we're going to have talent for our background since our character is very talented. So let's uh, go ahead and select. After that, it is, will be the skill section. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about our skills. Now, very important. Perform. That is your number one focus for this build. Now, you want to get lore up to eight. Me, I just maxed it out. So this way, it'll help me much more for identifying items. Now, another uh, good set is Spellcraft, because uh, every, I think it was every 5 or 10 points you uh, get a save throw against spells. Good thing. Tumble, yeah, we'll definitely get that to 30. That's 3 free AC, so every 10 points in the tumble, you will get yourself 1 AC, aka armor class. Use Magical Device, yeah, we're going to almost max that out by the end of this build video, but still, it is a great skill to use. Now, I'll probably say is listen, so this way you can listen for foes. There is a bard spell that will actually uh, amplify that, which is good. So this way you can detect uh, hidden bastards more. So I'm going to say also diplomacy, because you want those talking skills in their winter nights too. Just trust me. Concentration's great too. Uh, last one's up to you. I did a praise. Reason being is so this way I get nice discounts in shops. For the next part of the video is feats. Since we're human, we get an extra feat. Yeah, that's why I picked it. Luck of the Heroes. This is a very good starting out feat. Get one extra AC and a whole bunch of uh, save throws by one. Well, actually, all three by one. Very useful since we took talent. Well, we get that uh, will save back. That's a nice thing. So uh, next up on the list is 
curse song. This is a very broken song to use. I should say feet. Seriously, it's broken. The more points you have performed, more let loads in your bard, more broken it becomes. It starts out with one penalty against foes, then it ramps up to many by the time you get the maximum, which we will achieve in this video. As for spells, I'll probably say is uh, this one, the cure one, that's good. This one's all right, days, lights nice, and resistance. Uh, this last one we'll get in the next level anyways. My final advice is simple. You'll start out all right as a bard. At some point you'll hit a little bit of a snag while you're building a red dragon disciple. Once you return to bard, everything is up on the up up. So let's go over the bard spells I suggested in this video and here we go. I am going to go ahead and go over the spell suggestions. Now please note there's one extra one in case you don't like the ones I have. You have uh, until level 30. After you level to 30 you cannot deselect anymore. So I'm going to go over the first one. Amplify plus 20 to listen checks. So if you have high listen already and you add 20 to it, yeah, you're going to detect some stealthy foes. That's great. Joyful noise. Immune to signs. Immune to signs is always good. Sleep. One foe under 5 hit point dies goes to sleep. Anything 5 hit point dice and plus is immune to this basically. Summon creature. Summon this creature, it's good for bait. In other words, it's a tank. Remove fear, it gets rid of fear. Simple as that. Lesser dispel magic. Dispels magic up to direct challenge plus 11 on one creature. There's two better dispels magic out there, but this is good to have. Another suggestion is identify if you want to get that. So let's go to level 2. Let's talk about level 2. Mirror image. 1d4 image of yourself appears with 10 plus AC. Also any dex modifiers. If that image gets hit, it goes bye-bye. Here's a great thing about it. It stops you from being hit until all those images are gone. Extremely OP. Heroism. Plus 2 attack, saves, and skill checks on one target. Great to have. Curse of Impending Blades. Foe hit the blades. They get minus 2 AC. Great defensive spell to have, everyone. Ghostly Visage, you get damage reduction of 5 slash magic, and nice 10% concealment, good to have, whole person. Now if they fail their save throw, that person is held, it only works on humanoids, not monsters. Cure Moderate Wounds, 2d8 plus uh, 1 per caster level, this is good to have if you want to go for healing spells. Let's get to level 3, shall we? Here's your level 3 spells, Displacement, 50% concealment plus, that means foes will have a hard time hitting you now. Now, the spell magic is more powerful than the lesser dispel version. Great to have. See invisibility. See invisible foes in a line of sight. Now, the better one we don't have, unfortunately, is true seeing. Next up is haste. Plus one to dodge bonus to AC. Plus one bonus to attack rolls. One extra attack per round. And target speed is increased by 50%. Great to have unless you have haste items. Then you could uh, ditch it for one of the other two. Deep Slumber, upgrade version of sleep. Instead of 5 HD, folks get, can go sleep up to. Now it's 10 HD. Double that. That is great. Slow, opposite haste, minus 50% movement speed, minus one attack per round, minus one AC to dodge bonus, and one attack. Great to use against foes. Now let's go to level four. Here are your level four spells War Cry, plus two attack and damage rolls you will receive. Also around your party members too, and all foes around the area of the bar can be feared unless they're immune to it. Great to have. Shout. 5d6 in psionic damage against foes around the bard, and of course 2d6 rounds of deafen. Great against spellcasters. Great invisibility. Like invisibility is if it does not go away, and you do gain 50% concealment. Wonderful to have, everyone. I am dead serious. Next up on the list is freedom of movement. Target will gain immunity to paralysis, slow, and entanglement. Great to have. Hold monster. Monsters that fail its will saves will get held. Now last but not least is cure critical wounds. Heal 4d8 plus uh, 1 per castle level. Now the castle level max is 20. Very nice healing spell to have. Let's go to level 5. Let's talk about the level 5 spells, Greater Heroism, plus 4 to attack, saves, and skill checks. It also gives this to your party members. This is a wonderful spell to have. Next up on the list is Greater Dispel Magic, much more powerful than Dispel Magic. You really want this in higher levels. Mind Fog, negative 10 will saves to foes in the area. Great to uh, use for uh, confusion and more. I'm going to go ahead and give the next spell on the list. 
Now, Song of Discord, foes hit with it, can be confused, attack each other, sometimes they'll stand still, couple this with Mind Fog, and Song of Discord will be hard to resist. A3 of Asage, 20 slash Anamite damage reduction, very good to have, also stops level 2 and lower spells, better than Ghostly Visage because that's level 1 and lower it stops, plus as a nice bonus, 25% concealment. Let's get to the final level, which is 6. The final spell level, level 6 for the Bard. Energy immunity, one type of damage immunity granted to the caster, so you can immune to fire, lightning, coal for example, and the other uh, two. Dirge, negative 2 strength and dexterity to foes in the area, unless they get out of the area where the Bard is at. Great against melee foes. Superior resistance, plus 6 uh, to all save throws, wonderful to have. Greater Shout. Well, Greater Shout is upgrade from the Shout spell. Foes take now 10d6 of sonic damage in the area and they get deafened for 4d6. That's great against casters too. Last but not least, Ice Storm if you want it. Or you don't like the other uh, 4, I just list it. That is uh, 3d6 uh, in blunt damage plus 2d6 in cold damage. Also an extra 1d6 uh, per 3 caster level damage. What a full uh, AoE to have. So this way you could just clean up the arena. That is it for the bard spells. I suggest it. I always add an extra one so in case people don't like the uh, first four or five, they'll uh, pick the uh, backup one. Now, I want to say it once again, you can change your spells at certain points, but level 30 is your absolute last one if your uh, bard's uh, about to level to 30. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the actual uh, leveling part of the video. Now we're at the leveling up portion of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, level up. I will show you the spells I suggest it in my order. If you don't like my order, then uh, go ahead and uh, switch around the other order. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Bard. Yeah, we're going to be doing that for 2 to 5. Appraise, Concentration, Listen, Lore, Diplomacy, Use Magical Devices, Tumble, Spellcraft, and the most important, Perform. Perform is your ideal skill. It's your number one skill. Amplify, let me uh, tell you about that. That is plus 22 listen checks. Great for us sniffing out stealthers. And the other one is joyful noise. So what that does is gives you immunity to, you know, silence. So if they try to cast silence on you and that affects above you, boom. You just negate your silence. That's great for a bard, by the way. I'm serious. So we're going to go back to uh, level zero. And we're going to pick the last one, Flare. I don't give a you know what about it. Now, Inspire Courage, that does is, uh, gives you a uh, plus one to attack. Pretty good. The usual suspects still performs very important. I'm going to probably say in order to perform, tumble, spellcraft, and use magical devices. If you want to, diplomacy is number five. You want to talk your way through this game, definitely. Especially if you're a bard, too. Let's hit the next button. Now, feats time. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, pick one that's obvious. Lingering Song. Now, Lingering Song, what that does is uh, make sure uh, bard songs last longer. Like, for example, Inspire Courage and other ones, too. Now, Haven Song gives you uh, some bonuses until you attack. It's uh, not bad, but I usually uh, pass on it anyways. And, of course, the uh, other one, that just gives you one more bard song per level. That'll, that'll be constant every time you level up a bard, by the way. So I'll give you all a few more seconds to look at that one. To give your own judgment. If you don't like mine, that's like a pass. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get the next bard song on the list I'm suggesting. Summon Creature 1. You're asking why uh, you're doing it, or why didn't you do it early. The other two were more important. And the Summon Creature, what that does is I'll uh, summon like bait. If you don't like that one, go ahead and pick Sleep. That's another good one, too. Now, uh, there's some other good songs I'm just going to briefly uh, show. Now, just remember, the uh, Inspire ones are one at a time. So, don't panic at all if you are having a hard time choosing. That's just the uh, way the game is anyways. I'm going to just uh, show you those real quick. And let's uh, go ahead and uh, show I think I forgot to show you all another one. Uh, let's see here. Besides Inspire Courage, plus one to hit. Uh, the other one is Inspire uh, Competence. That's another good one, too. Yeah, these are uh, different. 
still I advise uh, just experimenting with them whatever you feel comfortable with the most use that as your inspiring song and there's other ones you uh, get that's uh, far away from the inspiring pool we level up our bard charisma nothing but charisma everyone I am dead serious and don't worry we will hit even eventually use those suspects make sure it performs your top priority also uh, tumble spellcraft and use magical devices definitely want to get that diplomacy up too and of course lore I almost forgot about lore we have seven in lore so one more level should definitely uh, go ahead and put us in the red dragon disciple category now we're at level two bard songs we're gonna get one of the most broken spells in the game mirror image what that does is uh, 1d6, uh, 4 of images that appears. And of course, uh, if a foe hits that image, that image goes bye-bye. You don't take damage. Great to have, especially against tougher foes. Heroism is like a nice uh, self-buff spell, or you can buff one of your uh, allies. This is uh, wonderful to uh, have, too. In fact, those two should be your top priority. There you go. We got ourselves another one of those bard music. Now we're going to level to 5. This is the uh, last time for a while for being a bard until you uh, finish the Red Dragon Disciple for 8 levels. Now you're asking, why do you not do any crafting skills? Well, if you're going to be uh, playing uh, the one of the 4 campaigns, uh, assign someone else as a crafter. Yeah, wizards and sorcerers are great at that. Well, mainly wizards because they have that intelligence and they get more skill points. Alright, we're going to go ahead and pick another one. This one, I believe, I think I remember right. I'm just double checking. Yeah. Now, what happens is if any foe step in the area when you cast this uh, spell, minus two AC. Great against melee foes. You really want this. And they cannot dispel it. Only way to get rid of it is like a remove curse spell. Wonderful to have. And we're going to go ahead and pick sleep. Now, you don't like sleep, pick something else. Uh, don't worry. Down the line, you will definitely change out those spells. And let's uh, go ahead and hit next. And that should do it. Now, uh, from here on out, we'll be leveling up the Red Dragon Disciple until level 8 is done. Uh, unfortunately, we'll not have perform. Don't panic about that because there will be a certain point that I will start storing points at the end. We'll actually level 8 Red Dragon Disciple. So let's go ahead and level up this Prestige class. Now it's time to level up the Red Dragon Disciple. Yeah, you're going to run into some uh, little problems, but you'll get some new tools, some new feats, and more. Concentration, you want diplomacy, listen, lore, and spellcraft. The rest will uh, definitely catch up in one form or another, especially perform. Now what we're going to do is extend spell. So let me uh, go ahead and explain this uh, long one. So extend spell is like this. Uh, if you want to stand, for example, a Mirror Image, which is a level 2 spell, you have to use up a level 3 spell slot. However, a Mirror Image will last a lot longer. I'm just giving out examples. I feel like that's the only uh, type of spell feat is well worth it for a bard. Well, there's other ones too, but you're really just buffing yourself up and debuffing foes, so you can kill them much more easier. Now, we got a natural armor increase, so it'll happen every few levels. We won't get the full effect because there's one more I think in 10. The uh, same skills I just uh, picked for the previous level. And we're going to see if we get any more uh, feats or not. Unfortunately, nope. We get more dragon abilities. Our strength will definitely get up there. Also, if I remember right, uh, constitution and intelligence. That's all we're going to get. We won't get the level 10 bonuses and immunities, unfortunately. Yeah, we're not going full uh, Red Dragon Disciple. Charisma, once again, you want to pick this. Yeah, we're going full Charisma with this uh, build. Uh, same as before, we'll select the others. There you go. Now, as you're going through the original campaign or any others, you're basically a nice uh, buffing duel. You just sing, you just uh, cast spells, and, and more. Yeah, you see, you notice I'm having cloth armor? Well, I don't want none of that uh, arcane spell penalty at all. Yeah, I don't feel like that at all, definitely. You could try the leather and the other stuff, but yeah, that's uh, bad news. Now, Dragon Breath is all right if you want to use that for uh, DPS damage. Other than that, yeah, there's better ways to do damage. So let's uh, do Red Dragon Disciple, get some more stat upgrades too, more armor, etc. Same skills, Spellcraft will be top priority. And there you go. 
Now, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, this next one. People will argue, why are you picking a uh, weapon focus? Well, at this point, we're getting our uh, melee damage up. So, if I run out of bard spells or so, yeah, I'm going to need to start uh, hitting foes like crazy. I forgot to tell everyone, weapon focus and uh, chosen weapon is plus one attack rolls, or plus one, I should say, in uh, attacks for uh, that said weapon. Now we're leveling up again, concentration, lore, listen, diplomacy, and of course, uh, spellcraft. Yeah, we're definitely going to get that uh, maxed out big time. There you go, blind fight. So, in other words, we're facing invisible foes. Now we won't get penalized. This is great to have. This is one of the feats I definitely want for this uh, build. Very useful. And you get it for free. That does not hurt at all. So we're going to keep on going, keep on leveling up our character, pick the same thing, and let's see if there's anything else I need to do. Yeah, unfortunately, no feats, nothing of the sort. Yeah, we're going to do it again. Red Dragon Disciple, hit that. Now what we're going to do is Charisma. That's up there to 19. Pick these little suspects for the Red Dragon Disciple skill pool. Now the next level, I'll be banking it. I'm going to go ahead and pick and prove critical of my uh, choice. Now I'm doing longsword for this build. If you don't like longsword, pick something else. And the thing is about uh, improved critical is, uh, for example, if your weapon does this 19 through uh, 20 for a roll to hit, get a critical hit, that drops down to 17 through 20. Stacks with keen, stacks with anything else. That is great. I'm showing you again. Now you see the sword is, uh, longsword I should say, is 19 through 20. However, now it's uh, 17 through 20 on the roll. That's really wonderful. Now, this is the final time I'll level up the Red Dragon Disciple. There you go. Bank your points. Just trust me. And there you go. It's time to go for level 6 through 12 for the Bard class. So the rest of the video will be all Bard. So what we're going to do right now is go ahead and catch up with uh, Performia. We're going to max that out to 17. See, we got that maxed out. You want to perform up there. The uh, curse sun that I uh, selected at the start of the video when I did character creation will definitely now kick into effect very well. I'm going to probably say is at some certain point we'll easily hit that 25 perform. Also uh, that level 16. And we got two new uh, feats. This is uh, good. I believe uh, this one, uh, this one's not bad at all. Use this against foes. It could really make their day go bad. I think that does something with their uh, saves, which is a good thing. There's supposed to be another one too. Sorry about that. Try to zoom in and look real quick. Nothing else is there. We're gonna keep on leveling up the uh, bard. Concentration, appraise, diplomacy, listen, lore. Definitely perform. We're maxing that out. Spellcraft, tumble, and use magical devices. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just start with Tumble. So what we're going to grab is extra music. So let me explain about extra music. It gives you more uh, bard songs numbers. So for example, it'll increase it by, I think it was four or so. That's a great thing, especially using that curse song quite a bit. If you're going through dungeons, you pop in that curse song, you especially get to the 25 perform bonus one where you start doing some damage. Yeah, that's really nice everyone. So, we're going to go ahead and select our Bard spell, which is now level 3. I'm going to go ahead and say this. Get the placement ASAP. This will give you 50% in concealment. Great to have before you have a uh, greater invisibility. So, definitely select that. If you want to get rid of it later on after greater invisibility, do so. Dispel Magic. This helps you out dispel buffs on foes. Or if you're going against a wizard or sorcerer, yeah, that's your tool of destruction there, everyone. Pop that on there, and they're toast. I am going to go ahead and select uh, this one, Ghostly Visage. Now, uh, any uh, level 1 spells cast on you will be uh, immune. You'll be basically immune to it. You get some uh, nice uh, other things with it, too. It's in my uh, spell guide. I forgot to add the uh, level thing on that, but still. Great to have, so this way your level 1 and level 0 spells you're immune. So, let's go do the Bard. Now, what we're going to do is Charisma. Yeah, we're going full-blown charisma, everyone. Let's uh, keep on going with the skills, making sure perform is maxed out. Yeah, see, we're already uh, almost at 20 in perform. That is pretty good in my eyes. 
and we're also going to go try to hit that uh, tumble to max out now next on the list is uh, haste unless you have haste items or uh, haste enchantments then yeah skip it or you can still use haste and just haste up when your allies up unless everybody uh, has haste items and st such and then I probably say go for slow or see invisibility there you go we're gonna just uh, level up some more everyone I just want to show you something real quick uh, this one is uh, not bad at all I think it gives you uh, another type of bonus yeah more of those inspires you have more tools you have in the tool shed just keep that in mind let's see the usual suspects for the skills make sure perform is really up there if you want to make sure diplomacy is up there too so you can talk your way out of danger all right we get some uh, good uh, stuff too looks like we uh, definitely get another uh, chant yeah oh wow that is actually uh, pretty decent to have let's level up our uh, character we're uh, going uh, towards the epic levels we're still in the pre epics but still we're uh, start building our character up really nicely our perform is now 21 so that's a great thing as soon as we get to level 16 and uh, 25 perform we get the final curse uh, song uh, I should I say debuff against foes now I am gonna go ahead and uh, select let's see which uh, feat should I do I'm just checking Toughness. Okay, toughness will give you hit points. This is retroactive, so any uh, hit points from uh, this level to the other one down, you get some extra, which is uh, good. Now we're on level four, war uh, cry. This will give you some nice uh, bonuses to attack and damage. Also, as another added bonus, you cast it near foes. They run away unless they're immune to fear. Great to have. Shout. This will uh, give you uh, sonic damage. Also deafen any spellcasters anyone else in the area. Wonderful to have too. So those are two great options. I advise definitely uh, using those as one or two. Unless you don't like shout, then you can pick any of the other ones I suggested on the list. So I'm just uh, go ahead and just uh, look around for one final time to finalize everything. And I am going to do see invisibility. So in my line of sight, I cast that any invisible foes. I uh cast that spell during it they'll appear and there you go we are done with that we're gonna keep on leveling up our character and we're uh, starting an inch closer to the epics everyone which is a great thing the same skills as before make sure perform is tip top in other words yeah you're getting up there already we're at 22 perform that is uh, good and that'll make things a lot more easier so the next one on the list I am definitely uh, picking is greater invisibility uh, why are you asking why are you picking that so here's the deal it's like invisibility with one exception uh, you get a nice 50% concealment you don't lose any bonuses when you do attack wonderful to have if you uh, didn't like shout and then you pick invisibility then uh, pick uh, shout or something else as your number three I'm just going over everything before I uh, go on now we're about to uh, do is after I uh, show you another, uh, what we uh, got in feats for bards only. Yeah, this one looks uh, pretty uh, decent to use against foes. Me personally, I love using Curse Song. Yeah, that's another one of those uh, broken feats anyways. That's why I rushed to get it because I want to pick human for that. So now we're about at level 20 or say exactly at 20. Charisma, everyone. Yeah, it's going to be an odd number. However, when I get to the epic levels, I'm going to solve that. A uh, little problem. Same skills I'm picking. Definitely pick diplomacy. You want to talk your way through. Spellcraft. Tumble. Use magical devices and perform, which is number one. We're already at uh, looks like a uh, 23 perform. We're getting closer to that nice 25. So we uh, got ourselves a new uh, tool to use. Oh wow, this one is a uh, song of heroism. This does is, is uh, when you uh, cast that, you get some nice buffs. Great to have. I believe that's single target, though. That's the downside. Now we're in the uh, epic levels. So welcome to uh, that, everyone. Same skills as before. We're getting perform up there. So now we're at 24. So we're one away from that magical 25 number to max out the potential and the curse song in the perform department. And let's uh, go ahead and grab Epic Proudness. So all of our attacks now, melee attacks will be plus one. 
great thing to have and voila we also epic characters too that's a nice bonus now we're at level five the uh, first thing I am gonna go ahead and select I'm gonna try and make sure everything is right is a uh, great heroism uh, we get uh, another buff it's like heroism but instead it's like a party favorite cast that and boom you get some nice buffs attack saves and skill checks also I did greater dispel those annoying casters started to get real annoying with their protection toss that sucker against them and that is that for them now I'm gonna go ahead and select another one freedom of movement you get of course those nice immunities I mentioned earlier great to have so I'm gonna select that let me make sure uh, that's it for uh, selecting your bard spells give her about, about one more second to look at it and that is uh, it for uh, this level so we're gonna uh, keep on going keep on becoming more powerful yep we're going on the bard path pick all the skills I shown now by now you should have exactly 25 performed with this build you're like a few points behind a pure bard but that's all right still you got some other uh, tools in the tool shed that will make it up now if we get to a uh, level 16 for a bard yeah that last uh, curse song debuff will kick in against foes that's what we want now uh, coming up next I am gonna go ahead and select uh, one which is mindfuck when you cast this negative 10 uh, will saves now you uh, couple that with the song of discord yeah they won't resist that song of discord because of the mind fog really nasty combo also uh if you have a uh, for example certain spell casters in the party that uh, cast spells that uh, requires will saves well you just helped them out yeah for example sand so you uh have him uh cast a nice fear spell after you cast that mind fog and then you uh see the fear spell getting to work that's just an example I'm just giving out. Now we're gonna level up our uh, bard much more. Uh, same skills as before. Just keep on going. And yeah, I'm at this point. I'm just uh, making sure everything is right. There you go. And we're just uh, put that perform to 26. Look at that, everyone. See that? We got a uh, tumble maxed out. So that's a good thing. Now we can focus on the other two. I want to max out. And uh, next up on the feet list is let me uh, make sure I uh, definitely check. Let me scroll it down. Now this is an upgraded version of the Song of Heroism. Except for it is a party favorite. First you had the Song of Heroism. Now you have the other one. When you have uh, that one, what that does is like Song of Heroism, but it's for the whole party. You really want this one. You're going to start to, uh, if you uh, level up the bard more, get some OP abilities, or I should say uh, feats, that could really break the game. I heard the bard, if you have a pure bard, you could seriously, seriously uh, just bust it up. Next up is level 16, so no matter what happens, that curse song will get the final curse, I should say, so you can debuff your foes, or the final debuff, which is one of the most powerful. So there you go. We're going to start to uh, attempt to get use magical devices. So now we're at level 6, the final bard uh, spell level, which is uh, great. Now there are some uh, good options. I'm just giving a nice look over. Energy immunity, one of the five uh, you see on the list. As soon as you uh, cast it, you're immune to said energy, so you select it. Dirge, uh, what that does is it gives uh, foes in the area negative 2 strength and negative 2 dexterity. Really great against melee foes, especially uh, rogues uh, who uh, depends on dex if they are a uh, weapon finesse. Now we're going to pick another one. Song of Discord. What that does is you cast that in the area and confusion happens. Now you couple that with Mind Fog and yeah, it'll be very hard for them to fully resist that and uh, foes will be attacking each other or standing still. That's what you want exactly. Now we're at the uh, next one, level one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I could uh, get rid of sleep. If not, the next level I'll uh, definitely uh, get rid of it. Reason being is, is I will have a uh, better uh, option to put foes to sleep. 
that's my uh, main reason so I am gonna go ahead and select uh, remove fear I felt like that's the best option for me let's get rid of that fear and that should be definitely it now we're gonna level up our bard once again at this point uh, if you're playing a uh, mask of the betrayer you're seriously rolling through the content hard we're gonna get our character set up there you go now if you are I'll probably say he's playing other uh, player made modules you'll roll through those two nicely let me uh, go ahead and select the uh, next one for everybody to have the feet I'm just going through my list make sure everything is uh, right just double checking greater uh, charisma so that does is gives you one point of charisma now with this setup I'm doing after that feat I'll get an even number you always want even in uh, skills I should say uh, attributes or uh, aka sat aka abilities now we're on the next one to select superior resistance that is simple plus six to all safe throws wonderful to have everyone I am serious you want to get that ASAP I'm gonna go ahead and select the uh, next one on the list and that should be uh, it for sleep I'm gonna do a uh, lesser dispel or uh, identify yeah I might uh, yeah one of those two are uh, good so this way I get a nice bonus in uh, lore so I can identify items much more better let's uh, keep on checking we need one more here's the thing about hold person if they fail their will say they get held one target here's a great thing about it. you couple that with mind fog since that drops will saves yeah that'll go off without a hitch it's a nice uh, crowd control spell by the way so we're gonna go ahead and level up once again the bard same skills as before and oh yes we are really up there believe it or not with the uh, perform now you should definitely start looking for perform items reason being is, is there's a certain uh, feat we'll uh, definitely uh, get towards the uh, leveling process at the end everybody knows what's up with that uh, unfortunately none in uh, level six let's uh, go ahead and uh, check none in five there's one in three now this is your time to uh, definitely swap out haste if you have haste times or uh, haste weapons I'm gonna do is uh, you could do deep slumber or uh, slow I'm doing a uh, deep slumber so Deet Slumber does is uh, instead of five hit dice is the cap it's now ten hit dice which is uh, nice great to uh, put some uh, certain uh, can folders to sleep and we got Legionnaires March that's not a bad uh, song to uh, use yeah, that's like a buffing one so that's pretty uh, decent so I'm gonna give everybody a few more seconds to look okay I didn't do that sorry about that let's level up our uh, character much more there you go we're gonna keep at it keep on going and we're about to yeah we just hit 30 in perform that is uh, great and 30 in tumble so we got the official three free AC points which is great now if you decide to uh, get tumble items uh, say another extra 10 that's four AC keep that in mind and now it has to be uh, one or the uh, other you can't put like for example 8 plus 2 no it'll only take 8 obsidian is that way now the next thing I'm gonna get since I cannot get the song of Requiem yet it's epic toughness we're gonna get a little bit more hit points we're gonna need to survive on that so I'm gonna select that and there you go you also uh, do a skill focus uh, perform if you want to too that's another uh, good feat to have it's one or the other now we got one more for uh, level six and I am definitely gonna go ahead and select greater shout it's better than shout you do more damage uh, sonic wise in the area more rounds in deafness spe especially useful against casters now I am gonna go ahead and select the next one on the list which is if I think I remember right I selected hold a uh, monster you don't like that one cure critical wounds is nice like a nice healing system or say uh, heal for you unless you want to go for potions or depend on your uh, healers now I just pick charisma since it's level 20 the last time you get to pick those uh, ability slash attribute slash stats points so we're at a nice uh, charisma level so we're gonna just keep on going pick the same skills make sure performance maxed out 
Now this is a great time to start uh, thinking about uh, deselecting spells you don't like if you tried it and select the ones you uh, want to definitely uh, try. Level 30 is the last one so you're uh, leveling up to uh, 30 you're about to uh, pick your stats wherever. Yeah, last time. I'm just checking Ethereal Visage this should give you some, some bonuses. Also uh, level 2 and lower immunity. That's good especially uh, Folks want to cast those spells to annoy you. And there you go. And we're going to level up once again. Pick the bar. Same skills as before. You definitely want diplomacy. You want to talk your way out of uh, trouble. And we're making sure uh, we're uh, maxing out our uh, favorite for form. I should say favorite skill. There you go. Now, we're going to go straight down to the Song of Requiem. You know, this is on a two minute timer. The damage from it is insane, everyone. So uh, what that does is uh, this exactly. Uh, it doubles your uh, perform for the damage to happen. So for example, if you have 30 perform, so uh, damage will be about 60, I think, or something like that, and it splits up. It's really OP'd. Really messed up. Bad news is on a two-minute timer. First you cast a uh, curse song, then you cast this. Game over. Now, if I would have more bard levels, I would have got the uh, feet upgrade for it, which you could do even do more broken things with it. So, we're going to just uh, level up our character. Keep at it. I believe this is level 30, your last time to uh, select out any spells. Otherwise, it is permanent. I'm just giving everybody that final warning. Seriously, there you go. With that, we are done. Let's talk about gear advice. As always in Neverwinter Nights 2, you cannot have, for example, certain stats and skills combined. No, it'll take the highest. So, for example, you have the Nymph's Cloak at uh, 10 plus 10, then you decide to try to be sneaky with a plus 2 uh, Charisma Helmet. No, it'll take the 10 and that's it. Other than that, definitely focus on Charisma, Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, maybe uh, Wisdom. If your safe throws are lacking, go do all three. Go look for perform items. As for weapons, look for uh, keen plus five and damage. Like and true seeing, that's another one too. Haste if you definitely want to, or anything else I show on the list. Armor definitely look for weight reduction. You're gonna use cloth. If you feel uh, fine, go ahead and use light armor. I suggest only using cloth. So this way that uh, arcane failure won't happen much. Other than that, just uh, know what you want to build up. So for the last part of the video will be combat. As uh, always buff up, I'm showing you the uh, type of buffs I'm doing this time. Normally I skip this section. However, uh, because uh, you're playing the bard class, you want to buff everything up. So I'm just definitely doing, for example, amplify, joyful noise, and the other ones on the uh, list. So yeah, go crazy on it. I am dead serious. You definitely want Ethereal Visage. This placement's another good one too. Even though I have invisibility at the time, but still. I'm just demonstrating it as if you're uh, going down the line in levels. Yeah, have a buff bar like I have. This way things will be much more easier. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the uh, first set of foes while we're uh, buffing. We're uh, seeing uh, how well you could go against, like I always do, foes you could critical hit against, you could sneak attack against. Or in case uh, send a nice and rogue just a sneak attack while you uh, do your buffs. Or send a nice uh, wizard to go nuking happy after you cast Mind Fog. Yeah, I'm talking about that a lot, but that negative 10 to uh, will saves is nice. So this way, said uh, wizard or said sorcerer decides to toss one of those uh, spells once again that uh, does require will saves. So I'm just finishing that up. I'm doing the courage one. And I am good to uh, go. It is time to uh, definitely uh, go into battle and victory. I'm just almost finishing up with the last two. Now our first foes is, is a set of orcs. Like I always do. At the time I almost decided that you know what let's go against evil outsiders. I maybe save that one day. There you go. Now there's the orc raiding party. Now I did was I uh, casted one spell. I cast a mind fog. I cast the other one, and then I uh, am about to uh, cast this uh, 
Greater Shout. I'm going to aim it. There you go. Curse Song. Now a whole bunch of them will take damage. I'm going to do a Song of Requiem. If that doesn't finish that off, Song of Requiem will. And it should almost uh, do it. There. I guess I uh, did it too quick. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go crazy with the melee since I have so many uh, buffs with uh, attack damage and more. And there you uh, go. So we defeated foes we could critical hit again. So the uh, question, oh I forgot about you. So the question is uh, this simply. What about foes that we cannot critical hit against? Like for example the undead. Oh this build is absolutely uh, great for it. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to uh, uh, pop that nice curse song. Yeah, you see they're trying to uh, do uh, some kind of form of dispel. Oh, wow. I just wiped almost the entire room out. And let's uh, make sure we uh, drop this guy's AC by two. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this one too. Look like everything is good. And yeah, I just, just dispelled his uh, nice goodies. And voila, Mr. Lich just uh, died. There's a second one. Oh, well, almost dead. And there you have it. Now we're going to go ahead and go after the other one. And let's see if I could uh, destroy it. All right, my melee attacks are doing well. A few more hits should, uh, it should be definitely toast. Let me uh, go ahead and just do Greater Shout. It should definitely finish it off. Plus, since it is a caster, it's not going to last long. There's the mummy. That should be the last and final foe to destroy. After that, I'll give everybody some uh, final advice. There you go. It's uh, dead. Here's some final advice before I do end the video. Yeah, starting out with the bard is not easy, but still, you'll get some nice songs at the start. You get Curse Song ASAP. Things will work out your uh, way. Red Dragon Disciple, you might have a weak spot or weak moment. If you're uh, definitely uh, in a party system in a game, for example, original campaign, or so, or the Storm of Zerhot, they'll uh, help you uh, pick back up. Other than that, once you return to the bar, you're really powerful. The Song of Requiem is OP and broken, so is the Curse Song. And the uh, level 6 bar songs are seriously uh, broken in your favor. Well, I wanted to sit for my Neverwinter Nights 2 Dragon Song Bard Red Dragon Disciple build video. This is Lorefet signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you like what you see, then check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestions of my video on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and please stay safe. Also, enjoy the view.